Welcome back. We got summer fashion tips, breakup tips, and a live performance all here tonight. Coming to you from Studio 7, this is Marquette Live. Everybody and welcome to Marquette Live. I'm your host, Jessica Clark. It's been a good minute since we were last on the air, so I hope you all had an amazing spring and Easter break. But now we are in the home stretch. There are 36 days left until summer 2013, you guys. Yes, I already started my countdown. The nice weather today was just a taste of what's to come, so let's start things off on our hiatus ending show tonight to keep us in the it's almost summer mindset. We have our lovely fashionistas discussing summer styles. Take it away, ladies. Hey guys, welcome to Marquette Fashion. Tonight we're talking about summer essentials and everything you need to have in your wardrobe. I'm Katherine Gable. I'm Francesca. <laughs> I'm Lauren. And we're going to start off with some of our favorite things that we've always wanted to wear. And now, finally, things like the 60s are coming back. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited. excited. So first of all, we have lovely white, 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 white dresses. And not only that, a lot of them are flowy which mm -hmm. is great. Yeah, no, um, summer white dresses are always nice because they're very clean, very crisp. You're right. And it's kind of nice to have like a flowy aspect to it, especially like windy days. Um, you can just have like that easy summer breeze look with that, like looking effortless. I love white dresses because like some days you want to feel like really, like just cute and just like perfect. And I feel like the perfect like white flowy dress, that's what you need to wear. Mm -hmm. Right, it's almost angelic and it with is. that, I'm really into wearing an awesome braid and because it kind of goes along with the whole flowy white and Lauren Conrad pulled it off really well and she always has but she's from California so yeah there she you pulls go. off like the perfect braid I always see on Pinterest like everyone's pinning her mm -hmm. hair and I'm just like well most of you probably won't look like that <laughs> but, <laughs> but I mean like you can try and some girls pull it off like you pulled it off really well today Catherine so oh, well, thank you. you know I'm, I'm proud of you thanks <laughs> I know Bray's always that one like look I wish I could always do but obviously I struggle with that but yeah. it's so cute seeing it on people like I yeah. really love a braided look but you know we want your hair so, <laughs> so stop love the new hair color by the way thank you <laughs> Um, anyway, some other trends that I've been loving have been the long dress that you are showing us. Yes. Um, maxi skirts are a huge summer staple just because they're really easy to make a nice outfit. Um, you can have a bunch of different looks like they did here in this shot with like having a really easy flowy look. Um, pair up with like a jean jacket like I have on and this girl does too. Um, it's just a really easy way to make a bunch of different looks and styles really effortlessly. Yeah, and they look so chic. but. They're just hanging out. Yeah, it's just like and that can, boho look. And you can run around with your braid in your hair. I wish I could wear them, but they never come like long enough for me. So it's really, really depressing. See, that's my, <laughs> my problem is they're way too they're long. They're way too long. I look off. Well, so I, I look off. <laughs> <laughs> so I was with this girl who actually pulled up her maxi skirt and wore it as like a tube dress. Oh my and it was really it was a really cute idea. So I do it. Yeah. That's yeah. what I do. I think that's a good idea. I've never idea. tried that before. Yeah, you can do it. And like, even if like, it may not go all the way down the ground, like mm -hmm. it could be like a nice like yeah. angle length or something like that. So yeah. Yeah, just like this, yeah. along with the trend. I love these though, the prints. Like printed maxis are great. And where do you guys find something like that? I get a lot of my stuff from Urban yeah. and yeah. Free People. They always have tons of maxis. Um, Thread Scene has a lot of really cool like printed maxis too. So that's always nice to always throw into your wardrobe as well. That's great. Yeah. So some other trends that we were finding was what you found. What I found. So I feel like, oh, oh the wedge. We're doing the wedge <laughs> yeah. right now. We forgot That's about the wedge. That's what we're doing. The wedge is my favorite thing ever. This is Michael Kors, and obviously that's kind of a splurge, but I found a really great wedge from DSW for $20. Ooh, that's Ooh, nice. That's really I nice. love, 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 love it. And so that is a great way to incorporate that into your maxi dresses. Mm -hmm. I would even wear it right With now. With that, yeah, that'd be cute. 
I haven't gotten a pedicure in a while, so. That's okay. Well, it's been winter, so it's okay. Don't yeah, worry about no it. judgment. No I judgment. love the wedge, and I love Atlantic Pacific. This is the blogger. So this is what I'm excited about, guys, and I'm showing it today, the neon colors for summer. Like, it's just a nice pop of color, mm -hmm. and it's just something to show, like, you're really springy or really summery, and that you're just really excited to go out and like you look nice. Like right. I love pops of color. That is like my favorite thing to ever wear besides like black sometimes. So it's like <laughs> <laughs> different things. But yeah, I just love the pop of color for summer. That's really depending on the mood. It really is depending on the mood. Mm -hmm. But if you really want to perk yourself up or you know, really look like you're happy that day, right. definitely wear a pop yeah, of color like, like dress that. good, feel good. Mm -hmm, that's yeah. one of that. Oh. And then the last thing that I'm in love with for just basically anything, but I love it for summer too, is the leopard print. People are now saying that leopard print is the new, like neutral, like the oh, new yeah. black. And I'm obviously showing it today, and so is Lo, oh, our leopard print shoes. And it's just so exciting because it's an animal print, but people are wearing it as like a neutral. Like you're wearing, oh, yeah. like she's wearing it as a pant. And I think that's just like so adorable. Oh, she's. So great, and this is actually the blogger Gal Meets Glam, mm -hmm. and her entire website is amazing, so everyone should check that out as Definitely. well. Definitely. But she's very cute, and um, just a couple of other little things that we've been thinking about. Definitely splurge on skinny belts, watches mm -hmm. are just a great way to, like, if you're running around with just a simple outfit love like that, watch. Yeah. put on a watch, you look put together. What other? We love, like, just col regular color blocking, like, if yeah. you just have on, you know, like that, she like threw together peach and like a nice Tiffany blue. That's just like, a really nice color right. blocking mm -hmm. situation right. that's going on. So well, yeah. thank you guys so much once again for talking about all our favorite fashion needs and it's important, especially at Marquette, because we were just voted the worst dressed city in America. Oh, but God. we are changing it one TV show at a time. There we are. <laughs> all right, thank you guys so much, and we'll see you next week. Thanks, ladies. Summer fashion can be tricky. I mean, how many times can you wear shorts and a t-shirt before it gets old, you know what I mean? So, great tips. We're going to take our first break, but don't go away because Marquette Live will be right back. Welcome back to Marquette Live. I'm your host, Jessica Clark. The temperatures are warming up, so you know what that means, breakup season. People always seem to break up right before summer. Coincidence? I think not. Regardless, next up we have our love guru Sebastian with some ways to deal with a bad breakup. Thank you Jessica. Welcome back everybody. It's been too long since I have seen you and been able to talk to you to give you guys the best tips when it comes to dating. Uh, and as Jessica said, when the worm com comes out, the devil inside us does as well. And a lot of people tend to break up during the warmer times of the year. And today I'm going to share with you not only some awesome stories, but some awesome tips of how you can get back to someone that hurts you. Uh, so start off, if you are a girl, which I am not, I've been hearing this online and from Jessica, but if, if you are a girl and you wanna get back at a guy, you gotta hit him where it hurts. You gotta go get his pocket, his money, his car, his pet, all stuff that's material, his TV even. If he loves to watch football on Sundays, you take that TV and you take it with you. And on the other hand, if you are a guy who wants to get back at a girl, you can't go for the car or the money or the TV. That's just not going to cut it. You got to go for more personal things, more emotional things. Because as we all do, do know, ladies are more emotional than us men. So you got to go hook up with your friend or something in that manner of fashion. Uh, but I have been scavenging the internet for some great stories about what people actually have done. Uh, when they break up. Uh, so I'm on Facebook, I'm putting up a post, please give me some stories. So for Marleska Marliso, back from Russia, one of my old friends, she sends me a message telling me her story about a guy that cheated on her and how he, she got back on him. So what she did is, um, she, of course she had his apartment keys. So when he was at work, she went over there and she literally took his TV and threw it out the window and he just left. There was no evidence of her ever being there except this. So I hope this will never air in Russia because there was be one guy that was be very, very pissed at her. Okay. And on that end, I got a story from a, from a guy 
uh, my friend Simon from Sweden, uh, when his girlfriend actually cheated on him. I know it's kind of uncommon, I guess, that a girl cheats on a guy, but I guess there's that as well. Anyway, he tells me, she cheats on him, and he's like, okay, she broke my heart. What can I do to get back at her? This is what he did. He made sure that every friend that she ever knew knew who he was. He Facebook friended them. He tweeted at them. Yes or no. And then when he went out, he put all his game into ho hooking up with her friends. And that's really how he hurt a girl. However, I hope that none of you will have to experience this because it's a horrible experience, let's be honest. But if you have to do something, you have the tips right from me. I hope to see you guys next time. Thank you so much. Great advice, Sebastian. I mean, who wants to sit home and down a bottle of wine by themselves? You know what they say? Hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. And everyone knows that revenge is sweet. Next on the agenda for the night, filling in for Kristen is Dan Shergan, a familiar face to all of us here at Marquette Live, except instead, tonight he isn't performing, but he's here to give us the scoop on what's going on around campus. Over to you, Dan. Hi, I'm Dan Shergan, and this is What's Up Marquette. This weekend is filled with music, movies, and more, all on campus. Friday night, student media is hosting a spring concert in the Weasler Auditorium. 21 pilots will be taking the stage with five knives at 8 p.m. 21 pilots have been rising their way through the ranks with their driving alternative rock grooves accompanied by intelligent lyrics and catchy choruses. You can pick up your tickets in the Brooks Lounge on the first floor of the AMU. Saturday, also on the first floor of the AMU, is Taste of MU. Uh, this event will be hosting a collection of cultural organizations performing traditional dances, but more importantly, traditional food. Many of the clubs will be bringing in snacks and hors d'oeuvres for students to munch on during the fashion show. Also on Saturday, as a part of the Annex Acoustic Evening Series, I will be taking the stage to whisk you away to a world of bliss and music and awesome. In addition to playing some original and some classic favorites, I will be joined by a few celebrity Marquette musicians. I promise to entertain, or at least look like enough of a fool for you to laugh directly at me. Oh yeah, did I mention the Annex has a fully stocked bar for those of you who are over 21? Just a, just a little bit of a reminder, I'm gonna leave that there. And at the Varsity this weekend is The Guilt Trip, starring Seth Rogen and the ever-talented and always fabulous Barbara Streisand. She's like butter on a business trip to hell. Also happening this weekend is yet another round of MU Cash Cab, which works just like the show Cash Cab and gives out real money. Cha-ching, kiddos. That should keep you busy. And remember, the weekend is what you make of it. And that's what's up, Marquette. Thanks, Dan. Always great to have you on the show. We've got to take another break, but when we get back, we'll have a live performance from Kimberly Brown. Don't go away. Marquette Live. To wrap up our show tonight, we're going to send it on over to Erica. Take it away. Good evening, Marquette. Welcome back to another noteworthy week. I have a very special guest with me tonight, Kimberly Brown, who is actually an alum of our very own beautiful university. Kimberly has been writing songs for four years, and tonight we have the pleasure of hearing one of her original pieces. This is one called Going Somewhere. Everyone, let's give a warm welcome to Kimberly. Thank you. Already. 
but I made it this far. I'm singing it tonight. What's in the past, not looking back, it's history, goodbye, cause I'm going. I, I am leaving, and I don't know where I'm going, but I'm going somewhere. Well, that was fabulous, Kimberly. Um, do you want to give us a little background on the song that you just played for us? Yeah, I'd love to, actually. Um, so uh, this song is really personal to me. It's called Going Somewhere. I wrote it on the floor of my bedroom as I was moving out of Marquette. And <laughs> I you know, I had my undergrad in speech path, but you know, I had this little dying dream to pursue music. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know where I'm going to go. I don't know where I'm going, but I know I'm going somewhere. And I just I wrote about it. <laughs> Well, it was beautiful. Thank you so much. Um, well, funny story. Kimberly and I actually met through the Facebook group Marquette Musicians, which I actually just found out today that it was Kimberly who started the group. So <laughs> do you want to tell us a little bit about why you decided to make that group and how you still feel a part of the Marquette community even as an alum? Good question. I mean, I just, you know, started going to open mic nights my senior year and saw all of these musicians and were like, I'm like, we need to keep in touch with each other and support each other because it's a tough industry. And um, you know, we need each other, especially at Marquette. We're all Marquette alums. So I'm like, why not just start a group and just see who and you know, see who comes and you know, we all just chat and tell each other what's going on. Well, it's been really helpful. I mean, as a member myself, I mean, I have definitely made a lot of connections through that. I so know. it's awesome to meet Kimberly, who started it. Um, <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> now, I know that you said that music is a sort of outlet for you, and as a singer-songwriter myself, I completely understand how therapeutic music can be. Yeah. Um, how did you originally discover your love and passion for music? <laughs> a guy actually broke up with me, and <laughs> <laughs> I just started writing about it, and um, you know, just realized that I just loved it. And just now it's just like breathing to me. I need to write. I love it. Yeah. So. <laughs> well, that performance really was great. Is there Thank any you. chance that we'll be able to hear and see more of you? Do you play around Milwaukee ever? Um, I actually go to the Milwaukee Guitar Club that plays at Puddler Hall, Puddler Hall on Tuesdays okay. um, at 7 o'clock. But, um, you know, I'm from Waukesha. I moved, you know, from downtown in Waukesha. 
And I play on Wednesdays at Master Z's, Thursdays at Reuters, Fridays at Sprizzos. Busy, busy girl. I know. <laughs> I love to keep it busy. Mondays is my time to write, but <laughs> Tuesdays Well, thank is you the for club. being with us yeah. tonight on this You're busy schedule. Okay. Well, it looks like that's all the time we have for tonight. Um, but thank you, Kimberly, so, so, so much. Um, oh, we'll definitely be seeing your face around, maybe in light someday. And be sure to check out Kimberly Brown Official on Facebook. And until next time, I'm Erica Forrest. This has been Everything Noteworthy. Such an awesome performance, Kimberly. Thank you so much for coming out. Well, that's all the time we have tonight. Thank you for watching. I'm Jessica Clark, and this has been Marquette Live. See you next week. <laughs>